In this video, we will show you how to replace your blower motor control module on the Chevy Trailblazer. This will be located under the passenger side dash. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. We'll make our way underneath the passenger side dash. In this area, you'll find that you have two eight millimeter headed mounting nuts. Let's remove the pair. There's one. Now, as we continue rearward towards where the glove box is, there's two seven millimeter headed bolts. Now that we have all the bolts out of there, you'll find you have several push clips that make their way from the top down through the bottom. As for the two forward ones, we can go ahead and grab those from the other side. But this one right here, use some pliers, squeeze in the two tabs and gently press this up and through. Take hold of the panel, give it a wiggle, and start bringing it down, keeping in mind that we do have wiring up along the top that we will have to break free. Got a couple harnesses. We can use a trim tool for this or just a small prying device, possibly a flathead screwdriver if needed. This next one. Remove the panel from the vehicle. up on this computer, set that aside. Let's move all the wiring aside here so we can gain access to the wiring harness that goes to the blower motor resistor or blower motor control module. It has a locking tab right where my thumb is. Go ahead and press that in and pull this down. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, you just wanna give it a quick peek. See any funny colors, it's probably corrosion. Set this wiring aside for now. Now the next thing we wanna do is follow this purple and black wire all the way around the other side of the blower motor. It connects in over here. This one also has a locking tab. It's essentially just underneath this foam. I'm just gonna press that in. You can use a pocket screwdriver or even your finger if you want to. Just slide that out of place, quick inspection. At this point, we're gonna take hold of the wiring harness. Along the back side of the blower motor here, there's just a small hook. It's kind of hard to see, but if you just go ahead and grab the wiring, bring it up along the side of the blower motor, it slides right out of there very easily. Now we can start removing the control module here. Use a five and a half millimeter socket. We'll remove each one of these bolts. There's one. Let's remove that control module. Let's get ready for installation of our brand new blower motor control module. Now what you're going to find is that the electrical connector along the back of the brand new one is a little different than the original. And that's okay, because your new one came with a new wiring harness and I'm going to show you how to connect everything now. You remember that the purple and black wire went to the blower motor. Keep that in mind. The control module came with this wiring harness. Now as for this, you would just wanna connect it in. The purple and orange wire We'll go to the blower motor in this case. Now we have the other three wires. Looking at these, you can tell you are going to have to splice these into the wiring harness. The wiring harness that you'll be splicing into is the one that came out of this. We just wanna double check it real quick. Slide that in. Now that we've confirmed that this is the wiring harness that leads to the back side of this, we can go ahead and re-disconnect it and we'll start stripping off some of this coating so then we can gain access to each of the wires. Before we start splicing into any wires, it's important to make sure that you have connectors to be able to connect the wires together. It's also a good idea to have some that either have heat shrink on them or just have some heat shrink handy that you can put in place. Now we can use some wire trimmers here. Whenever I'm removing a connector, I always like to leave a little bit on the end here, just in case for some reason you need to pay attention to where each one of the wires goes, you still have some to reference. We're only cutting one wire at a time. That's important. Now we can strip away some of the sheathing. If you have some heat shrink that you wanna slide over it, now's the time. If you want to, you can try to twist the wire a little bit. Generally, this should just slide right in. Now we'll crimp this down. Make sure you're pressing the wire in while you do so. We wanna have a good connection here. Before we continue on, we'll give that a nice tug. I wanna to try to separate it. If it falls right off, it's not a good connection. Let's continue on to the other two wires here. 
Some people like to stagger these in some way. That's completely up to you. This will be tucked underneath the dash, so I'm not necessarily worried about it. Now that I've removed some sheathing here, I'm going to do twice that much. I'll just go ahead and pull that right off, fold this in half, twist it together. That's due to the fact this is such a small wire, I want to make sure I make a good connection. That's a good amount right there. Hold that. Now once again, this is a much smaller wire, so we're going to use a smaller connector. Just press this right in there. Light pressure on that, holding it in place. We'll go ahead and crimp it down. Try to separate that onto the last wire. Now we'll just do the same exact thing to the last wire. Once again, this is a thicker wire. We don't have to worry about pulling off too much of the protection here. Let's get that on there. One of the larger connectors. Now as I crimp this down, I just want to be careful not to cut any of the other wiring here. Crimp that down. Perfect. Now it's time for the wiring harness. We'll make sure that the wires aren't tangled up here. You can start with any wire you'd like. The black wire goes to the black, purple to purple, and red to red. Move that sheathing. Black to black. Press that right in, crimp it down. Now at this point, we can either heat shrink this down or you can pause on this wire and continue on to the other two. I like to have my torch going as little as possible, so I'm going to do the other two, and then we'll heat shrink everything together. Let's move along to that purple wire. Now for this one, of course, we are going to pull off a little bit more of this sheathing once again, just to double layer it. Fold it over. We'll slide this into place. Crimp it down. Once again, we're being extremely careful not to cut any of our wiring while we do so. Move along to your last wire. Red to red, just to confirm we're doing everything right so far. The wires aren't crossed in any way. Double check each and every wire. All right, now it's time for the heat shrink. We're only trying to shrink this down. We don't want to melt anything or set anything on fire. Once you heat it up, you want to be extremely careful. It could be hot and potentially burn you in some way. Do the same for each wire. Now we can disconnect that wiring harness from the control module. We'll set the module aside for now. Now that we have that disconnected, let's take a little bit of electrical tape and we're going to wrap this up a little bit. We don't want anything dangling down and potentially getting damaged in any way. There's no special way of doing this. Go ahead and use your best judgment. Now we can prepare to install that control module. We'll just go ahead and take this and put it underneath the dash and install our five and a half millimeter mounting screws. Get 
can only fit in one way, so if you have it backwards, just go ahead and turn it around. Start in both of your screws before you tighten either of them. It's just good habit. Snug them up. Take hold of that, give it a wiggle. Make sure it's secured properly. Now it's time for that wiring harness. Looking at the connector port here, you can tell that it has this area that bulges out a little bit. And looking at the wiring harness, you have a small tab. Let's line that and press it in. Nice wiggle, make sure that's secured, super important. Plug in your blower motor. Press that in, listen for a click, give it a light tug. All right, now we're going to prepare the rest of this wiring so it aligns with that panel. All right, let's get ready to install that lower panel. The first thing we'll do is just take hold of this box. Looking along the bottom side there, it does have a couple mounting studs. You remember that when we were removing the panel, we had a couple mounting nuts. We'll take this and put it in position. Those studs should want to align along the bottom. We'll just go ahead and start in two of the mounting nuts here. That should temporarily hold this in place. We don't need to tighten these yet. We can do it once everything's together. Now we can start resecuring our wiring harnesses. Now where you decide to put these in is really up to you. Essentially, as long as they are secured, you should be good. Let's press this in here. Press this one right here. Start putting this in place. Let's continue on with our two mounting bolts across the front here. Let's tighten our rearward bolts here. Make your way underneath for the eight millimeter headed mounting nuts. Okay friend, we showed you how to install your blower motor control module. Put the key in the on position. Test the blower motor on all speeds. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.